Hello, good day and welcome to Encouragement and Prayer. I want to thank you for watching the video and sharing the video with your family and friends so together we can be an encouragement to others and together we can share the gospel. Today I'm reading from Ephesians chapter 2 verse 20. You are rising like the perfectly fitted stones of the temple and your lives are being built up together upon the ideal foundation laid by the apostles and prophets. And best of all, you are connected to the head cornerstone of the building, the anointed one, Jesus Christ himself. Those who have received grace has been given life. We once were dead, but now we are alive and joined together with Jesus, the anointed one. By grace we believe in Jesus Christ. Because of grace, we are being recreated for what God has planned for each of us. Before Jesus, there was Jew and Gentile. But now, there is one race by the blood of Jesus. With Jesus, there is no prejudice or ethnic hatred. Jews and non-Jews is one with Christ. Each of us is being built up and growing. We are being transformed, becoming a new creation. We are becoming the Holy of Holies where Jesus dwells within. Our transformation is by the power of the Holy Spirit who is living in us. Believe in Jesus Christ. Receive the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit and become what you are supposed to be for God's purpose and plan. Lord, I just want to pray right now that as people accept Jesus Christ as their Savior and as their Lord, that they also follow fully what they're supposed to be, allowing the Holy Spirit move within them to recreate a new life, a new body for Christ, one that is worthy for Jesus to live to make their life as a holy of holies, pure and spotless. That their lives would be sinless, making the, the body inside and out beautiful and worthy of Jesus Christ. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I'd like to give you the opportunity right now if you believe that Jesus is the Son of God that he died for your sins and rose from the grave you can ask for forgiveness for your sins he will be faithful to forgive your sins to become a child of God I just ask you right now to pray with me. Repeat after me as I pray. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins, and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. 
I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now that you've prayed that prayer, Jesus has become your Savior. But I want to encourage you not just to stop at making Him your Savior, but to make Him Lord of your life. Spend time with Him daily in prayer and in the Word of God. In the Word of God, we learn to live the life we are supposed to live, pure, holy, and sinless.